So what we're going to do now is just look how we could use that mean variance number to make a measurement in photoelectrons. So what I'm going to do is just stop live. I'll stop killing my sample as well. Now, what we know is if I put my cursor, you can see the numbers up here. If I put my cursor on this pixel now, it says that's a bright pixel, so 744. So let's have a look. How much would that pixel be if it was in electrons? So 744. Let's bring up the calculator. Let's get rid of that. So it's 744. Now, the first thing is we know we always have this default background of bias that I put on of 139. So minus 139 means there's 605 grayscales in reality. But we know that for every grayscale I have 3.88 electrons. So times 3.88 electrons. Okay? So that means that little pixel there had two and a half thousand two three four seven electrons in it. So it's a it's not a real low level light level uh, image, but it's definitely one where we'd want to have a good camera. With EMCCD cameras and so on like that, just to give you some context, you want to be working in a range of below a couple of hundred. That's where they become really useful to have EM gain on. But that's hopefully a nice little guide just showing you how you can use that mean variance number to calculate a signal. Again, all you do, take the signal in grayscales, subtract any form of bias or background level, and divide it through by, or multiply in this case, through by the actual gain number that we've calculated. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.